was the time he locked himself in the cupboard under the stairs by mistake. It wasn't by mistake. We could hear him, but we didn't know where it was coming from. We were frantic. That's when he started to wet the bed again. Oh, must you? All kids wet the bed. Mm, some more than others. I was four. It is not unusual. Oh, Becky, how lovely to see you. Who is this? This is Becky. Becky, I'd like you to meet my mother. Oh, Cynthia at last. Sylvia. And look in such a state. Congratulations. What on? Your son. Why? What's he done? I tell you what, if every man on earth was like this one here. Yeah. Well, it's harmless enough. Oh. Hayley. Oh, Becky. Oh, dear. No better then. Oh. Well, that's it. The money's gone. Joy's inheritance put to good use. Anonymously, I hope. Anonymously, of course. How long are we on there for? Um, about seven and a half minutes. It won't cost much. <sighs> Do you think we've picked the right charity? It's a very good charity. Yeah, they'll put it towards equipment, won't they? They can put it towards tea and biscuits for all I care, anything that helps. 72 grand, that'll keep them in tea and biscuits for a while. Well, I don't know. There's a fair few biscuits get devoured in the premature baby game. Have we done a good thing? We've done a wonderful thing. How many couples do you know would give away that kind of money? How many couples would steal it? You had no choice. And the irony is, you know, we're skint. At least we got a car and a conscience. Hey, we've got the two C's. You know there is one solution? Yeah, I know there is. But you couldn't look after her, could you? Who says I couldn't? What, all day, every day? We keep each other amused. I can start reading to her. You think she's too young for Oliver Twist? Is it scary? Hey, I could get her started on some maths as well. I saw a lovely abacus in the Age Concern shop, did I say? How much? Um, it was 65p. I didn't get it, though. Thought it might be a bit extravagant. I'll speak to Carla. Well, like I told you, I'm sure they didn't actually, you know, do anything. Overnight in Blackpool with the mother of his child. There's a lot to do in Blackpool. The tower for a start. I couldn't have gone out, guys. We're babysitting. The North Pier, the South Pier, the zoo. No, the stayed in. This is what I'm saying the to Pleasure you. Pleasure Beach, the ballroom, bingo. It, it isn't just Blackpool, love. It is Tracy in general. Can we just talk to Becky in private, please? I have known women like Tracy. I was almost one myself. Oh, no. No, no, no. You would not believe what this woman is capable of, Sylv. Sylvia! I could tell you some stories, girl. But you needn't. She only been out of Nick five minutes and she tries to get me sent down so she could get her hands on him. And then there's a stunt watch she pulled with our Royston. No, 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 Tricked him into bed, right? And then pretended that she was carrying his child. Right, you have to work, Ailes. Mm -hmm. I've dishes to wash up. I thought it was a wind-up when Eddie first told me. Please stop talking. Roy? You walk with me. I'm there, baby. Now then, ladies, I've come for the beast. Oh, he's busy. He's back here, mate, good as new. Must have his pal. But to anyone else, it'd be 70. But to you, 80. You are a legend, Ty. <laughs> well, that's going through the books. Back off, brother. You fancy baby later? Oh, she letting you out, is she? Be <laughs> Is she, though? Yeah, she's working. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I can smash a few back if I'm invited. More to marry you. Big K? No, I've got three MOTs coming in later. Lloyd's dropping some cabs off. I might knock off early. No, I think we should both stay behind. Time you thinking? Yeah, where do you want to go? Well, we'll meet in a cafe, talk tactics. Yeah, and what sort of tactics? Hey, oh, just, you know, where we're going to go, trainers or shoes, that sort of thing. I won't do a date, you're rosy, Kev. Good. So I'm going to meet the fuckers, isn't it? Yeah, no, you're on shaky ground there, mate. <laughs> anyway, your drinks are on me. Why's that? To say I owe him one. You owe me a few. Right, what do I owe you, mate? 70. Oh, 80, Chief. Oh. oh, got Mrs. Wolf back in at 4.30. That's you, Marie. Oh, fine. Do you think Mrs. Wolf should go darker? Well, she went darker last week. I did it. Did you? Oh, yes, so you did. Yeah, you commented on it. Yes, I know, I remember. See, the thing is with her, Maria, you show her one client's hair, it goes in one eye and out the other. Yeah, well, she's always been the same. Hey, has um, Mrs Wolf still got that mobility scooter? What? Yeah, of course she has. Why? Did you think she'd had a miraculous cure in your absence? <laughs> Honestly, you've only been gone a few weeks, sweetheart. I was only making conversation. Hey, did she get done for drunk driving on oh, it once? Oh, yeah, that was well funny. <laughs> Five times I've gone this morning. Three times yesterday. 
Claudia, I haven't seen him. Eh? Mark. He's with her, I know he is. Eh? His other woman. The tart with the scarf. David, if you found a receipt in your wife's pocket, what's her name? Kylie. If you found a receipt in Kylie's pocket, say for a bottle of men's aftershave or a pair of socks, you'd think it was for you, wouldn't you? Yeah. And if it wasn't, then she'd be having an affair. Exactly. Really? You think? There'll be a straightforward explanation, Claudia. Look, it might be a birthday present for his sister. No, David's right. I should trust my instincts. That's all we got. Wise words, young man. Wise words. Where are you going now? I need vodka. Join me if you dare. <laughs> oh, she's quack as she is. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, where were we? Wolf Darker. Are well, you going to a revision class? No, I'm still not right. Is that my top? This is me from now on, baggy of clothes. I'm showing like mud today. Are you heck? What are you doing back anyway? I wanted to see if you'd gone in. Well, you could have text. <sighs> I saw the Lord this morning. Thought I'd have the afternoon off. Would you not need to pack up? I've already done it. Shall I get you a water bottle? No, just come and sit down. Well, do you want a glass of cherry head? Just come and sit with me. Shall I test you on your sink, Tom? Mm, just put your hand around me. Mm, hello, you. Hello. <laughs> so you're not a man and you're not a woman. And you're not in a book or in a film. You're not dead, but you're not alive. And I don't have brown hair. And you're not a king or a queen. Mm, how can I be? Or a robot. Or a robot. Oh. Hello. Oh. Uh, Hello. Hi. Hi, Ian. I managed to sneak in. My mum was getting blase. I have to watch that. The second I get too cocky, I'll get caught. Mm -hmm. So what's new? Nothing, really. I was, uh... Just about to make a spot of lunch, actually. Oh, nice one. What are we having? Uh, scrambled egg on toast. Um, did you want some? Is that an offer? Yeah. Yeah, of course it is, yeah. Then I'll have some, Ta. If it isn't too much trouble. No trouble at all. We were just playing 20 questions. Oh, <laughs> poor you. Has there been nobody yet? <laughs> well, we should always go to Zana, haven't we? Yeah, great. Let's see if there's any magic beans in the till. Listen. Oh, Max, I need some best. I really need some jeggings. And um, we could always stop for a cheeky Mackey D as well with that. I'm a bit peckish, actually. Uh -huh. Ooh, the McDonald's in McDonald's. Can you work through? No. Sorry. I've got Amy's parents' evening. You never said. You never asked. Well, I'm supposed to ask every day if it's parents' evening. I'm not missing it. Neither should you. Hey? What? Well, aren't you interested in your daughter's education? Oh, I'd have to start with that. I say, he's been to hundreds of parents' evenings while you were counting bars, love. I wouldn't say. Hundreds. Waste of flipping time. Oh, poor Max. Um, but they're not exactly a waste of time, babe. So, hold up. Do you, are you saying that design outlets are? Um, I'm just weighing things up. Well, I know. I know. Why don't you? You and Max, and her and Amy, why don't you all go to Amy's parents' evening together? Oh, don't you like stop. Like a nice, proper little family. Becky! And you know what? When the kids are in bed, you can dim the lights, put on a bit of music. Oh, please. Oh, the cheap bottle of wine. As if I'd dim the lights. Shut up, you. Dirty you. cow. What, you think I want him? You can have him. I've had him. What did you just say? Oh, don't you realise that's how babies are made? Becky, don't stomp. What did I do? I've got um, three words that make you fall in love with me. One. Oh. He hasn't got a clue, has he? <laughs> I'm sure he knows. <laughs> what is he playing at? Hey, it's in the bag, that. She likes girls. Who doesn't? No, Tommy, I'm being serious. She's gay. Yeah, I know. What, and you still think you're in there? <laughs> well, you know. Work in progress, innit? Bye. Bye. See you, Sean. I don't believe this. I can't even pull straight birds and he's making lesbians swoon. Well, she's only trying to be friendly. I mean, you know, girls are allowed to laugh at your jokes without wanting to jump into bed with you. Really? Well, apparently. Wow. I think I'm ready. Ready for what? 
get back in the saddle. Yes. Well turned. Night, sir. Night, Tyrone. <laughs> you are not having breakfast with the lady in the morning. Oh, don't put that kind of pressure on me. Just let me talk to one first, eh? Okay. Are you all done with us, Tyrone? Uh, yeah, yeah I'm th I'm th uh, thanks, Anna. That's, that's great. Thanks. Well, at least she's made up your mind for you. I'm not going parents' evenings with so you. Don't win that easily. Win? This is Amy's life. You're terrified of her, aren't you? Well, you missed out on loads of these over the years, weren't you, girl? Well, because I would prefer it if you came with me. Well, if there's anything important, you can tell me. I don't know what to ask. Well, why don't you ask if her handwriting is supposed to be that bad? Amy's handwriting is perfectly eligible. It's worse than Becky's. Steve MacDonald. Don't tell her I said that. <laughs> don't worry, I heard. Becky. Ouch. I much prefer screw tops. Oh, cork scrumble, cork's leak. I had a customer the other day, came in, complained the wine was corked. You went and got the bottle, didn't you, Sharon? Screw top. Yeah, so why manufacturers only just twit? Can't they look at a bottle of pop and think, hey, you know what? Well, they're fine for the cheaper bottles, but for a decent wine, you still need a cork. Plus, there's the economic infrastructure and tradition. I'm, I like to hear a cork being popped. I'm old-fashioned. Hi, sweetheart. Excuse me. Uh, Mark, could I just have a quick word? Uh, of course, sir. Uh, We'll try a glass now, Cheryl. The 96? Yeah, I'll bring it over. What's the matter? You look awful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, you look wonderful, but something's up. Claudia's in the Rovers. What'd she say? No, why didn't you tell her? I didn't get a chance. I was limbering up to I even softened her up with a little gift. Yes, chocolates, I heard. Not exactly the gift she was hoping for, actually. Was she on the WP? What's that? The warpath. Oh. She is convinced that you are with your floozy, the very same floozy you bought a scar for. Oh, which floozy would that be? Which floozy, indeed? Oh, Claudia. Pretty damn clear, don't you think? Steve, Dre men are here. Ah. All right, Chief, how's it going? Uh, you problems at home, if I'm honest with you. I think you haven't got ten minutes for a chat, have you? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Face on him, eh? You, <laughs> yep. <laughs> every time, Betty, every time. How's wife sciatica? Oh, you know, still badly. Yeah. I'll uh, open up. Good man. <laughs> uh, Betty, you couldn't watch Max for me, could you? Well, I just saw this. Oh, well, he'll have to come through here. Well, I could take him to mine. Sorry, were you not listening on Friday? I'm prepared to forgive you if you apologise to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'd, I'd, I'd still find it funny that you're married. Look, can I help you out or not? No. You'll have to call him through from the back, Betty. Right, old Joe. You should lock him in. I should have locked them all in. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting there, bold as brass, holding his hand under the table. Oh, pli we were not holding hands. We weren't. Well, then oh, tell yeah. me the truth. The St. Julian? Or do you want three glasses? Not now, Cheryl. Exactly where that scarf is, I can't be certain. But if I was to put my house on it, I would say it was in your wardrobe. No, it isn't, Claudia, I swear to you. Mm -hmm. Ock. Well, then, who was that scarf for? Was it a present for your sister? No. Then what? Audrey and I are just good friends. The scarf, Mark. It was for you. You liar! Grand Mark, is there a problem? Yeah, your wine merchant is a spineless, no-good liar. That's the problem. And as for her, no wonder Lewis left you high and dry, sitting there like butter wouldn't dream of it. I thought you were my friend, Ord. I am your friend. Well, don't make me laugh. All the chances I've had to stab you in the back, did I ever take them? No. You are ruthless, Audrey Roberts. Listen, lady. You laughed when Lewis left me, and you can deny that all you like, but I heard you bray. Well, I tell you what, you're welcome to him, and you're welcome to this one as well. 
Oh, God knows you'll keep each other on your toes. Thank you. Thank you very much. How could I? In public? Well, go on, catch up with her. Explain, please. I'd rather stay here. None of it's true, by the way. I didn't say a thing. Oh, Steve. What? I just picked Amy up from school and she's projectile vomited all the way home. Oh, yeah, very convenient. No, she was like this yesterday, but I just thought she was going to be okay. You never said. Well, I didn't want to worry her, but now she says she's got stomach pain, so drive us to A&E, will you? I'm terrified. Max, we're going out. Your mum will have to have him. No, they've gone out. He's going to have to come with us. Well, we might be gone ages. Well, why has Becky left you in the lurch? I can't leave him with Betty again. Hurry up! It might be catching. Where is she now? Who? Amy! She's in the bar. Come on! Max! <clears throat> Help yourself. Oh. <clears throat> so what's the plan now, Sheen? Now you got your visa at long last. Oh, keep looking for a job, and once this is healed, I'm, I'm gone. Is it healing nicely? Hmm. I can go sooner if you like. Where would you go? I don't know. Now, nah, when you're like heels, it's fine. <laughs> it won't be long. Well, there's no sudden rushes. Hi, honey, I'm home. Oh, hello. Um, I thought you'd be at work by now. Well, it's my day off, innit? Ah, right. Um, the, um, the hi, honey, I'm home thing. Um, I always say that. It's, uh, it's ironic, innit? It's like... She's my wife, but she's not my, you know. Yeah. <sighs> so, what do you do tonight? You fancy taking me to the pictures? Uh, I've just spent the last of my money. No, but I didn't... I didn't mean pay for me, I said take me. You can go for something to eat after. On me? Well, I've got all this food now. Why don't you, uh, stay for tea? Well, what are we having? Chinese. Look, I know what you're going to say and the rest of it, but something's come up, so if you could watch Max for just an hour or so, it would really help. Typical. We've got to take Amy to the hospital. Is she all right? Get to vomit. Oh, too much information. Listen, I was bang out of order earlier, not to mention yesterday. I overreacted. Yeah, you did. Well, I'm sorry. Do you like hot dogs? Does he like hot dogs the best? Yes. Yes, uh, he like hot dogs, don't you, Max? I know he does. You don't have to ask him. Is Becky all right with it? Uh, yes, it's all been authorised. Go on. Go on, look after Amy. Cheers, mate. Listen, you be good boy. OK, bye. How do we get the children's channel on this thing? Can we get the children's channel on this yeah, thing? Yeah, of course we can. Give it here. So, how are you? Don't you think it's a bit soon? Well, it's the money, Ayla. That maternity <laughs> pay just dribbles <laughs> out. And do you think he'll be all right with you on his own? Yeah, so he says. And I can't see you in a step. No, de definitely not. What about a flat cap? Please don't encourage him. Oh, no, it'd look cold. He's very boyish, is Roy. You have to give him that. Mm. A bowler, then, at a jaunty angle. Roy doesn't do jaunty. A baseball cap. Oh, no! It looks simple. <laughs> well, I think it'd suit anything. This is daft. Got loads of noodles in the flat. Noodles? Katie, if I eat another noodle, I'll turn into one. I feel fine. <laughs> Just drops off. <laughs> You'll miss it. Yeah, don't worry. I'll see plenty of her in the night. <laughs> it's only nine to five. You're going back to work? Yeah, tomorrow. Leaving her with him? Yeah, well, we can't afford a childminder chairs. And John's back home now, so it's perfect. Hey, he's only been out this afternoon to buy an abacus. <laughs> don't give her a chance. I know, he dreads a thing, really. Yeah, you certainly do. Oh, she'll fly through school, this one. Why, oh, Sylvia, don't you think she's gorgeous? Who? Oh. oh, well, she's not bad for a little baby. I can take him or leave him as a rule. Yes. What about a fez? Anyway, how can you say he was your soulmate? What, Graham? Yeah, well, you said when you first met him, he was your soulmate. I said he was my cellmate. Come on, try and keep up, doll. Max, can you try and find me one of those little blue sixes? It's come a long way since then. You know, you're telling me. Meaning? Oh, nice one. Cheers, pal. Try and find us a steering wheel as well. 
You think she's prettier than me? Which one? I'm joking. I'm your wife. Yeah, I know. Listen, come here. I think you're prettier than all of them, right? He was always good with Bethany. Blokes find it easier. They're on the same level. Come on, Max. Ready for your hot dogs? Yeah, I know I am. I could eat half of this Lego. Come on, Maxwell. We'll finish this later. Hot dog time. Come on. Steve, Maxie. You looking for Steve? Oh, no, Shawnee. Whatever give you that idea. Well, pardon me. All over the place. Where is it then? They went out. Just the two of them, right? Tom. I saw Tracy putting Amy into the back of Steve's car. Parents' evening. I didn't stop and shout. Hang on a minute. You saw her putting Amy in Steve's car, so where's Max? Well... Shawnee. I saw Steve dropping him off with David and Kylie. Kylie? Oh, maybe I didn't see a thing. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe, maybe I should just keep my pretty little head down and keep my gob shut for all the thanks I get. I'll kill him. And we're back in Coronation Street in half an hour.